formatted, you repartitioned it and formatted the hard drive now, and now you're ready to go ahead and install the IRX 6.522. Um, the first thing that you're going to do here is going to go. You're going to go ahead and click on the install system software, and you're going to select local CD-ROM, and you're going to click on install. Then it's going to ask you to insert the installation CD-ROM now, which is already inside there. And this uh, is going to be the overlays one of three installation tools overlay disk six five twenty two. But now it should say copying installation tools to the disk. messages So you answer yes on this question right here. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You say yes, but why? Hit enter. Uh, it's going to ask you for the block size. Uh, <clears throat> 4096 is okay. So now it's going to begin the software installation. The inst prompt, which is the installation menu. Here you're going to select uh, from CD-ROM, dist. So you select one as the first option there on the 1 through 14 options of the inst main menu and then once you select 1 and hit enter you're going to get three other options the first option is going to be the slash cd-rom slash disk you're going to go ahead and hit 1 again and hit enter so that's going to give you some instructions here Hit enter again. If you want to be put on a maintenance stream or a feature stream, uh, for me I've found that if I put it on a feature stream I don't have any conflicts at the end of the installation so I'm going to go ahead and select two. Hit enter. Basically, I have to insert the overlays disk two of three. So I've gone ahead and put in the uh, overlays disk six five two 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 of three, and I've hit uh, one again to choose the number one option. So to avoid any conflicts at the end of the installation, uh, there's another required um, distribution that has to be installed from the disk 2 of 3, the overlays 2 of 3 disk. So in order to get that to install, you have to type in forward slash cd-rom forward slash dist forward slash unbundled. Hit enter. Now it's going to read the secondary distribution of that disk. All right. So again, we're uh, we're at the step where we're installing six five two two three of three overlays disk. I've already popped the disk in there right now. I'm going to go ahead and select one for uh, actually two, my bad. I'm going to select two because it remembered the previous path and it's given it to us as an option. So option one is not the one we want here. We want option two. 
and start reading overlays 303. We're doing the 6522 applications uh, distribution disk and we're going to go ahead and select one more time uh, forward slash CD-ROM forward slash disk by selecting the one and hitting enter. <clears throat> and now you're going to get a bunch of uh, information that's going to come up on the screen and uh, just uh, spacebar over it but don't do it too quickly because then you'll start all over again. This is kind of a critical uh, step right here. You do it three times and then you can actually see that it's actually reading the product description. Alright, so now we're at the step where we are in, we're loading uh, the 6.5 Foundation 1 distribution dated 2003. We're going to go ahead and select one for CD-ROM disk again, and it's going to read the disks. <clears throat> so now we put the foundation two disc inside and repeat the process. Once again we're going to go ahead and select one, hit enter. It's going to be to install the NFS or I should say read the NFS uh, version 3 dated 2003 disk. And again we're going to go hit 1 for Alright, so as you can see on the on the bottom of the prompt, you can see that there's four options now. And one of the options is CD-ROM dist slash dist 65 and that's because the NFS actually auto-detected that that was the subdirectory and it installed and loaded, I should say, it read from that directory automatically even though you didn't specify it. And now it's giving you four options. Uh, <clears throat> you can go one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to select four and we're going to hit enter. We're going to tell it that we're done reading. And we're going to type in keep space asterisk. We're going to hit enter. We're going to type in install standard. Enter. Rex. Now we're going to type keep incomplete overlays. And now we're ready for the go command. <clears throat> 